there is definitely a rivalry. Yeah, sorry. I read right. <laughs> uh, because yeah, we know each other since long, and there is only one spot for the best French team. Herzlich willkommen, liebe Freunde, zu einem neuen Interview hier auf eSports.com. Ja, bei mir ist jetzt der gute Buddy von G2 eSports. And yeah, the start didn't go well for you. You're one, two against the wall. Um, are you getting nervous before the games? Mm, no, I don't think we're getting nervous before the game. We just take each game as, as they come. We prepare them and we are just ready for them. And like, I know we have each our own way to chill before a game and to relax and just not feel the pressure and yeah no i don't think we're so pressured before a match so and how do you prepare for your next game maybe the last game let's say it's gonna be a best of three we don't know who we're gonna play against probably a high seed like phase or something like this because they are one two as well we don't know yet and i know we're just gonna do like we do every time we're gonna watch their match analyze how they do, which map we're gonna play, our own games, the ones we played before, what to fix and stuff, and just practice tomorrow because we have enough day and be ready for that match of 1-2 and take it as, it as it comes. In your first three games you had really, really hard opponents with a big Navi and co. Um, what do you think about the Swiss system? Is it good for you, especially with a BO1 and a BO3 in the decider, or do you want uh, another format in the major? Mm, <laughs> I think this format is really good because the seed stuff is like you cannot play, like two teams that are high seed cannot play each other and, um, well, they can play each other but really far in the process. and. <coughs> It allows like less upsets, I'd say, mm. and I think it's a really good format. Everything is well balanced, and yeah, I'd prefer best of three because we didn't show up really well in best of ones. But yeah, we're gonna play best of three now in one two, and I think now that we have our back against the wall, we're gonna give everything we have once again. Let's have a close uh, look to your team. You have two young guns in your team who are playing uh, the first time a major. Um, what could you learn from them? They come from a team where they were like free guns. I mean, they didn't ac achieve much, but you know that they are prepared for the big competitions and stuff, and they're proving it right now. And they're just like coming to the team, bringing fresh spirit, fresh air and everything that we needed. And how hard was it to um, get their skills or bring their skills into your system? Well, let's say we just started all over again because we used to play with Existence as the in-game leader for the last year and now we have Shocks back, back at it again. And we just started a new process from the beginning. So we put them in their own roles to our system. Like they didn't have to adapt much. So we just put them in their natural role and everything went, went good for them and good for us as well. They, they fit really good in the team. So there's another French team here in Katowice with Vitality and you know a lot of, uh, a lot of them. Um, is there a rivalry here or do you support each other? Uh, there's definitely a rivalry. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I read right. Uh, because yeah, we know each other since long and there is only one spot for the best French team yeah. and they're fighting for it, we're fighting for it. Now they're 2-1, they're in front of, they're ahead of us and yeah, we support each other. We all want the French team to come back and just grow again. So as many, the, the most French teams there is on the scene, the better it is for us. Alright, buddy. Thank you very much for this short interview. Ja, und wenn ihr natürlich noch mehr Interviews hier aus Katowice sehen wollt, dann checkt doch mal den Kanal ab, beziehungsweise auf Twitter. Da seht ihr noch mehr hier aus Polen.